Shalom. Back with part three. Let's continue here. Uh, I have made so bare and lifted up his skirts. All right. So uh, we just finished reading uh, Jeremiah 49, 12. Again, where it's telling you that, you know, the Israelites, the first part of it, you know, we drunk of that cup. And the second part of it is telling you that Esau will surely drink of it as well. All right. And uh, let's back that up. Let's go to uh, jump to Lamentations. Again, I'll use the uh, other tab for that. Let's jump to uh, Lamentations. Lamentations 4, 21 and 22. This will back that up, what we just read. Right? Again, we're talking about, you know, the cup being passed on to them. All right? It's their turn now. All right? Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. See that? Another title for Esau, Edom. All right? That dwellest in the land of Uz. Talking about America, Babylon the Great. The cup also, right, see, that cup, right, a cup of dread, that cup of abominations, that cup of slavery, that cup of filthiness, that cup also shall pass through unto thee. See that? And the Lord is going to assure you of it here. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked, right? What's my title? I have made Esau bare. The Lord has lifted up his skirts, right? There you go. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So right here, the Lord, right, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is assuring us, us Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. See, it's already on them. The curses are now put on to them. See, we're at the end of our captivity. They're about to begin theirs. Better the end of something than the beginning of it, right? And he will no longer, no more carry thee away into captivity. And that's true, okay? He will not, all right? And that's scriptural as well, all right? That's backed up. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and he will discover thy sins. And the Lord is visiting the earth. Okay? And he's about to bring tremendous judgment upon this place. Tremendous judgment. And not just on Esau. Okay? But the other 16 heathen nations. And uh, you two-thirds of Israelites. He's about to bring tremendous judgment on this earth, all right? So buckle up, all right? Because it's going to be quite a bumpy ride. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's jump to uh, Isaiah 51, all right? Jump to Isaiah 51. 51. Thus saith the Lord, all right, the Lord Yahweh and thy God power that pleadeth the cause of his people, right, who are you Israelites, you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, see, that cup of dread, that cup of slavery, that cup of abominations, of filth, right, even the dregs of the cup of my fury, right, of his anger, thou shalt no more Drink it again. See that? You see how the Lord here 
is assuring you that you will never return back into captivity. You Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's over. It's done. You understand? We paid the price for being rebellious and being disobedient. Now, again, you know, the, the ones he's coming back for is, are his elect. This isn't like, uh, you know, ancient Egypt where he took out everybody. Okay, of the 12 tribes, what he's doing this time is he's going to have an elect. He's picking up the elect, okay, within the 12 tribes, okay? All right, that's the only difference. But again, this is assuring you that the Israelites will no more go into captivity. That's over. It's done. All right? Verse 23, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflicted thee. Let me repeat that. But I will put it into the hands of them that afflicted thee. Who afflicted us? Now, we know, you know, it starts with the tabernacles of Edom. Esau, Edom, right? The white man. So it's going to be placed on him as well as who else benefited from our slavery. The other nations as well. Remember, they were confederate against you. Go read Psalms 83. All right? Which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them. That went over, right. They walked all over us. They stomped all over us, right? You understand that? Okay, but that's over now. And remember, they're now going to bow down to us because that is, uh, that is a part of our inheritance, okay? That is uh, our blessing, all right? Genesis, uh, the 27th chapter, uh, verse 28 and 29, okay? We'll tell you that the other nations, including Esau, including thy brethren, okay, thy mother's son, they have to bow down to us, to Jacob, to us Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up 12 tribes of Israel, okay? And that's getting ready to happen in the kingdom, all right? All right. All right. All right, let's uh let's get back. All right. And as you can see, people, everything is packed up in the scriptures. All right. As you can see that. All right. All right. Let's jump down here. Verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he have taken against Edom, okay, and his purposes that he have proposed against the inhabitants of Teman, which is talking about the German branch, the Amalekites, all right, the Askenaz, okay. Surely, the lease of the flock, talking about them, all right, these 1948ers, all right, these imposters, shall draw them out. Draw out who? America, Babylon the Great. Into what? Into World War III, the Battle of Armageddon. All right, and again, remember that it is the Lord that's really doing this. He's behind it. He's the one who's mustering up all the nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shabbat, which means Yahweh's judgment upon the nations. You understand? All right. Surely the least of the flock, talking about, you know, Israel, shall draw them out, America, Babylon, the great, draw you out, 
and surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them, with theirs. You understand? And you, if your people are paying attention to what's happening with Israel, Iran, Syria, what's happening in the Middle East, then you people would know that we're here. We're at the door. Okay? Because they're going to draw America in. That's the trap which the Lord has set up, okay? And it tells you that here in the scriptures, all right? Okay, give me a minute, all right? Give me a minute. All right, this is Jeremiah 50 and 24, all right? And again, we just finished reading um, Jeremiah 49 and 20, where the lease of the flock, talking about the 1948ers, shall draw America Babylon the Great into the Battle of Armageddon, right? Okay? So, and what does it say here? Jeremiah 50, I have laid a snare for thee. Thou art also taken. You see that? It, it, it was all a setup. The, the Lord has always had Esau, Edom, the Edomites in uh, in a trick bag, all right? To pull off the okie doke. He has been the sword of the Lord. The Lord has used him, all right, as his sword, okay? But always had him in a trick bag, okay? Remember, he created him so that at the end, he could destroy him. And by doing so, he will have his name, Yahweh, and his son's name, Yahweh Shai, exalted by destroying him. You understand? And his kingdom, his technology, and all that's been given to him by the Lord. And it's just BS. It's, it's nothing compared to the technology we're going to have in our kingdom. You understand? All right. All right. So I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And we're talking about America, Babylon the Great. And thou was not aware. You see that? Thou art not found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord, Yahweh. You see that? So how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? See, this is what's coming. This is what's getting ready to happen. The Lord have opened up his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, which means righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord, the God power, the host of armies in the land of the Chaldeans. In other words, basically, in the land of Edomites. Okay, because basically, America, Babylon the Great is the land of Edom. All right? Okay? Let's jump up here to, uh, like, verse 9. For, lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. You see that? And I've already given you those scriptures. I already read you, you know, Jeremiah 15 and 29. And I took you to Revelations uh, 17, 16 and 17, where America's own allies are going to send missiles. For lo, I will raise, all right, and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence, she shall be taken. Their arrows, and arrows is talking about the ICBMs. All right, you know what? We're going to end this here. I'll prove that to you when we come back. All right, with part four. Shalom.